Today I want to show you how to create an eye-catching effect using your favorite website builder, Beaver Builder, Divi, or Elementor, all using built-in settings. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a bit of motion to have things floating through the page. So for example, we could have it so a spaceman is floating up through space. We can create an effect like a balloon floating up across a festive website. or even a boat skipping across beautiful aqua water. Eye-catching, a lot of fun, and easy to create with your favorite website builder. Let's get started. So this effect takes advantage of the parallax background setting or simply the background image with a fixed setting, so it stays in the same place. All that's going to do for us is it's going to have the background move at a different rate than the foreground. And notice they're both moving up at a different rate. So what that produces is this floating, soft kind of motion. So in this case here with the spaceman, you can see he's kind of floating amongst the stars, moving around. It creates a sense of wonder and depth and interest. Same thing true with the balloon, where the background is a bunch of balloons and we just have one that's kind of floating up in the front. Now the first one here is this is with Beaver Builder, which fortunately comes with this parallax effect built in, very simple to use. Uh, Divi, a little bit harder to go, but again, very simple. It has parallax by default, simple to turn on. Now Elementor, by default doesn't have it, um, as you'll see. However, by setting it just to fixed so the background doesn't move, we can achieve a similar effect, not quite as notable. In addition, there's also some paid plugins you can get into that does act, add an official parallax, but today we're going to focus on the free version of just keeping things static to mimic the type of effect we want. You'd be well served by having a very a much more flat image so the boat isn't quite racing off as much as we have showing here. But those are just three examples. You can imagine a ton of different options. A uh, ant crawling across sand, you could have waves moving, you could have just uh, abstract elements. So you have some of the Nice elements here we have behind this figure, the circles and the triangles moving across a static background or back with some more image. So lots of great potentials and as, one, as soon as you do it a few times, you'll, you'll get a lot more ideas of how you can apply it for your website or your client's website. Real fast, so let's try to get into this and show you how it's done. I'm going to do the scary step of deleting what we have and we're going to re-add it. So let's just get rid of this. So first we'll start with Beaver Builder. And as I said, fortunately it has Parallax built right in. So this is very simple to do if you're using Beaver Builder. So let's go with rows. I'm going to add this structure. So the image is a bit smaller. I'm gonna have it on the right side. This you can play with. You could have the image entirely on its own, larger um, on the left side, wherever you like it, below or above both. In my case, I'm just gonna have him floating on the right. So let's start there. Let's add our in some text. So I'm going to be building this real quickly. I think it's going to end up white, but let's do that once the rest of it's in place. Let's add a terrible header out of this world. Very funny. And lastly, all we're going to do is add an image. Now what's important here is that you get an image that is a transparent PNG. You'll notice here the same images here, but here I've removed the background. Uh, I have a few tutorials and there's some other tutorials online showing you how to get an image without it. There's also, if you search, you can often find images uh, without a background, transparent PNG. But that is critical to this effect taking place. Um, if you do it with an icon or a shape instead, it's also a bit easier as opposed to a photo that we'd be using. But do a Google search for how to remove a background or just for images that come without backgrounds to begin with. In this case here, I have spaceman who has no background. So next part of this, so I have now my content. Uh, now from a Beaver Builder context, I'm gonna have everything vertically centered. I just like a little bit more how that looks. Um, again, your options will vary as you do with your content. So there we have it, content, photo with a transparent background of whatever the object is that we wanna float and some other content as we'd like to lay it out. So here comes the important part. The background and the effect applies to the section itself. So in Beaver Builder, we're gonna to go to the row setting. We're going to scroll down to background and type, we will do parallax. So parallax is, 
a fancy word for how the items in front will move at a slightly different pace than the item below. So that'll get you that kind of th 3D effect because your perspective looks like the stuff closer to you is moving faster. So that is parallax. So background, so we went to this, the row, we went to parallax, and now we're doing background parallax. So for the photo, this is where you would want to go to Unsplash or somewhere else and choose a photo that works with the theme. So in my case, it was space. So I did a Unsplash search for space and found this great looking image. Again, this is where it could be balloons, water, sand, dirt, grass, whatever you like. That grass is a nice one if you had a ball kind of rolling across, but for another time. And that's great, that works. Generally, I think it works a little bit better if you have a uh, full width. So it goes all the way across to give a bigger, grander presence of what we're doing here but you know that's at your discretion it might work nicely with yours if it's fixed but i'll do full width and then lastly the more space you have to work in uh, sorry, <laughs> excuse the pun i think the larger chance it is for the viewer to take it in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little padding to the top and the bottom of it so they have a the effect of how much movement he has is made a little bit grander now I'm still working in the row, so I'll save that. Now to finish this up, I'm just going to make the text itself white so it can be legible. These are all just Beaver Builder settings. As I said, the really important part is adding a image into the background, having an image that in front that is a transparent PNG, and then if possible, ensuring that you have uh, parallax turned on, and if not, have it so it's fixed so the background won't move and your guy will move across it. And that, that's it, and then otherwise it's just your creativity as far as what you want to show. So what I've done here first is just with Beaver Builder, tell you, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So you just, again, you kind of get that big spacious amount around. It gives you a bit more time to appreciate the effect. And that is it, so for Beaver Builder, very quick, very easy to do. You see me recreate it there. As I scroll down, it seems like my spaceman is floating among the stars. So let's proceed to our second one. Uh, we will re let's recreate this balloon floating inside of Divi. Let's go ahead and delete it. Always scary. And we're going to want to add a new section. So if we hover between add in a new section. Let's just go with regular. I've had some issue with full width. We're just going to go regular. And then for layout, we'll do for now the same layout again. Uh, however you want to do it, you're totally in control. But I'm going to have an image on the right and text on the left. So on this side over here, I will add text. You know what, I'll just use their default content. That looks okay to me. Get that in for now. And let's go ahead and add a photo. Now in this case here, I've already prepared this. I suppose they call it image. There we are. Prepared it as in I've uploaded the image of the balloon. So I got this pink balloon here, transparent PNG, and there is where it's sitting. Now there are some good tutorials online for how to get a vertical alignment within Divi. I'm not going to fight with that during this video. So in this case, just to make our effect a little better, I'm just gonna go ahead and cheat a bit in bringing the, add a bunch of padding to the top to bring it a little bit more to the bottom. As I said, there's some great tutorials though for some code snippets you can add that will do the centering for you. So we have our main part. It seems to be floating in there. So this is the content. These are the sections we added. What we'll wanna do, much like Beaver Builders, go to the section. So we hover over top of here, we go to section settings, and here's where we're gonna be adding in our image. So much like Beaver Builder, much like all of them, we're gonna be add a background image. What is it gonna be floating in front of? So there's the background. Background image, here we are. And there I've selected some pink balloons a little bit faded into the darkness so the front can uh, really stand out. And if I scroll down here, very simply in Divi, use parallax effect. So I'll go ahead and select yes, and immediately see we have the balloon moving at a different rate than the rest. Let's wrap this up. Let's go make sure this is white so it can be nice and seen. And just increase that text size so it can actually be red. 
the line height's a bit off, but as I said, I just want to kind of get the quick effect done. So, as the person arrives at the page, they're scrolling down, and all of a sudden this balloon floats up as if on its own accord, giving a sense of movement and just creating that slight eye catch, that slight whimsy within the website that really captures attention. Uh, much like the last one, I'm going to add some padding to the top and the bottom to give a bit of a grander chance for the viewers to appreciate the effect as they're scrolling across. And again, you can either make it full height even if you like, you can play with your settings, but to get the general gist of it, now we have this balloon floating up in front of everything else. So lastly, we will work with Elementor. Now, as I mentioned, there's out of the box, Elementor does not come with a parallax setting that you can simply check or choose as the background. There are some paid plugins, so you can purchase a plugin. I've seen anything from uh, $8 to $20 that gives you that effect plus many, many more other modules. Maybe it's interesting. You might already have one. However, I'll focus on the uh, built-in version of it. And specifically, all we're going to do is keep it fixed. You'll notice when I scroll, as opposed to, especially the spaceman, if you kind of watch these stars compared to him, they do move up, right? So there's that slight movement, so you kind of get all of this movement. What we're going to do here is you'll notice this C, this uh, downward looking at the C, doesn't move in the slightest. It stays static. So it certainly works, not quite as a notable effect, but it's definitely doable and definitely still kind of creates that eye catch moment. And it, and it definitely looks like <laughs> the amount of movement he has. He sure seems to be moving at a faster clip than the others. So like the other one, let's take the scary step of deleting the section. Okay, so let's add in a section. And let's choose our layout. So we're going to have the image on the right side and then text on the left, exactly like the others. There we are. So in the first here, let's go ahead and add this text. Drag it in. We'll just lose, use the lorem ipsum, that's fine. And then over here, let's add in the image. Great. Now in this case, I have the boat and everything ready to go. So let's just add that in there. And now we need to work on, so we have the text, we have the image. Let's work on the section itself. So we want the content to be full width. I've often found that I need to do this stretch section so that it enforces it to go full width. So I stretch the section by going full width, the content width, how far do we want to go? This boat seems a little large. Let's see if we can edit it down. Use the, uh, there we go, the medium one looks much better. Let's go back to the settings. Vertical align, let's go at the middle. Excellent, so there's the basics of it. And let's go into the style. So I'm still editing this section, the background type. We're gonna go with classic. Let's choose our image. So we went to the row, we went to style, we went to background type classic. And clicking that, we got these options. Let's choose our image. We'll choose our beautiful C. In this effect, if you're gonna to have to have the background fixed, it certainly helps to have it tall enough so it doesn't have to stretch and maybe get a little bit blurry. Go insert that. Now we got some really weird tearing here because it is repeating. So we're gonna to want to ensure that it's not repeating. Size, we'll want to cover to make sure, now cover is a great way to think, it just covers the area where it is. You know, I'm just gonna Jump ahead a bit because I wouldn't mind making this uh, white so we can see it as we're working with it. Let's get back to the settings. Okay, so now we have it static. You see that it's it's a nice uh, blue ocean. The boat is on top of the ocean. However, we want it to seem like it's moving on that. So to accomplish that, on attachment, so we're, we are in the row. We're on the style. We're in the, we've added the background image from the classic, add it on attachment. You want that to be fixed. So that just means the background is gonna be, it's as if the photo is just in the, the absolute back and all this content's floating in front of it. And now you can see, it's as if the boat is skirting across the water. 
Again, I, I largely think that this would benefit if the background is a bit simpler, so it doesn't look like it's traveling quite so far. It's such a clip, but it certainly gets the desired effect that we're looking for. Now, much like the other ones, we want to give the viewer enough time to appreciate our wonderful work. So we're going to add some nice more padding to the top and the bottom of it. And here you can you know, play around until you feel like you achieved the desired effect that you've wanted. You know what? I'm going to make it even larger. Let's let our boat rip across the water, water and look great. We'll go ahead and update. And that's it. So the viewer comes to the page, they're scrolling on down, and all of a sudden on their website, breaking the monotony of having to scroll down, a boat is skirting across beautiful aqua water, nailing up our effect. So you can see that's how it's easy to do in any of these website building systems. If you, at very least, because there is often this, if it doesn't have parallax itself, like here in Beaver Builder or Divi, the builder you're using at very least should have fixed for the background. And that will allow you to choose a version or achieve a version of this. But I hope that gets your head spinning because there's just so many fun ways that you can do this to break the viewer out of their expected viewing. They came to a website, it was going to be static, maybe you have a few items floating in, and all of a sudden you have something that seems to be acting as if it's this real, live, 3D space where calls attention, looks beautiful, and even conveys a message like being out of this world. So I hope that gets your head spinning. If you have any ideas or have your own suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below, and cheers to your great looking work.